Hey what's up guys how's it going? In today's video you're going to learn how to add this beautiful parallax effect to your web page with Serialax.js. In the previous video we have learned how to add this typewriter effect with vanilla javascript. In case if you have missed the video I'll put the link on the description so you can check that out after watching today's video. So in today's video you are going to learn about how to add this beautiful parallax effect to your web page. We are not going to implement it from scratch. We're going to use a library called Serialax Shares, which is pretty lightweight. It will take about two or three lines of code to add this effect. The images that you are seeing are coming from Unsplash Shares. All of the source code and all of the images can be found on my GitHub repository. So feel free to start the repository and fork it if you like and make it your own version of it. So before we get started, like this video and subscribe to my channel to see more of these project based videos. So without further ado, let's get started. Let me give you a quick introduction of mine. My name is Anjan. I'm a full stack web developer who can develop complex web application from UI to backend systems. You can watch my work by visiting my portfolio website datonjon.me, then just go to projects. And here you will see all of the projects that I have worked on. I'm looking for a new opportunity in a company where I can provide great value with my skills and knowledge. So if you are a recruiter or someone who wants a new team member who can solve problems, can develop real world application, feel free to contact me. You can reach out to me by email, LinkedIn or Twitter. All of the links are going to be in the description just for you. Alright enough of my introduction, let's get straight into the tutorial. Alright guys, so I have this uh, basic index.html file linked with style.css and index.js. In the style.css, I have some basic styles for resetting the default browser styles. I have added the cousin font link from Google Fonts and these are some browser resets and HTML font size is set to 62.5%. This will make one rem equals to 10 pixels. And also in the body we have set the max width to 100 view width and overflow x to hidden so that we don't get any horizontal scrolling. And also we have added a dark background color that you can see over on the right hand side. And also we have added the font family cuisine. So that's it for the style CSS and the index.js is completely empty. And inside the directory we have a media folder and inside the media folder we have all the necessary images. Now first of all we need to get the Serialax CDN. This is the Serialax GitHub page and let's scroll down to get the CDN. Uh, where is that? Okay so here is the CDN. We're going to use this one. So I'll paste it inside the body tag above the index.js script tag. And another thing that we're going to make this web page with mobile first approach. So first of all, I'm going to create this simple header at first. So header with the header class. There will be an anchor tag with class of logo. And the text will be parallax. It doesn't matter what you put here. And now we need to add the container for containing all of these images. So let's create a section with a class of container and inside the container we have to create a bunch of other container for containing the actual image boxes and inside those containers we will have the image and also this text and those containers will have a class called Serialax that is necessary so Serialax and here I'm gonna put an image tag with a class of Serialax uh, dash img and the source will be media slash one dot webp and then there will be a text with h2 tag and the class will be text and it will be just to lorem if some word and i'm gonna create four copy of this serialax container and let's change the image source so this will be 2.webp, this will be 3.webp, and this will be 4.webp, and finally it will be 5.webp. And also let's change the text to like lorem2 again, 
you can put whatever you want but I just don't know what to put so that's why I'm putting some lorem ipsum text for the final one okay so we are done that's it for our HTML structure and you can see we have images on the browser so these are the images that we are going to use so let's go to style.css so let's select the header first it will have a height of 10 rem color will be actually I'm gonna set color in the body so color will be white and I need to make the header display flex so display uh, flex then align items to center to make all of the children vertically at the center then justify content to space between to push everything apart and also let's add some padding on the right and left side 0 for top and bottom, 5 rem for left and right. Now let's select the logo. Oops. Let's add font size 3 rem. Font weight will be 700. And color will be white. Then letter spacing will be 0 0.1 rem. And also let's remove the underline so text decoration will be none and that's it for the header now let's select the Zaralax so Zaralax we have to make position uh, relative that is important and we need to make the Zaralax a uh, grid container so display grid then align items to center to move the text vertically at the center width will be 100% and height will be 100 view width now there's a reason I have said 100 view width not 100 view height because when we will shrink or grow the screen width the height will also increase but if I use view height then doesn't really matter if I change the screen width it will never change the height and I will show you in a minute after finishing the styles then I have to set max height to 60 rem mean height has to be 40 rem and you can see our Zarlax boxes I mean the containers are resized you can see so let's change the screen width and you can see that when I increase the screen width the height was also changed and let's decrease the screen width you can see the height is also decreasing but it is never shrinking more than 40 rem so that's why I have used 100 view width in the height and also given max height and min height to the container so let's fix the screen width okay so it is looking good now let's select the text now we don't see the actual text because of the z index so let's add some z index to it and z index will be 10 and you can see we have this little text so let's increase the font size it will be 3 rem text transform will be uppercase and also let's uh, move the text more to the right so margin left will be 10 view width okay so our text is looking good but you can see that the text is not at the center vertically because we have to configure Zaralax first so don't worry about that finally we have to add some overlay over the image so I'm gonna use after pseudo selector so Zaralax then after so let's make content to empty string position oops position 
to relative top will be zero left will be zero width will be hundred percent and also the height will be hundred percent the background color and the value will be an RGBA value so for red green blue will be zero that will make the color black and for alpha value I mean for the transparency value it will be 0 0.1 and now we have the overlay so our CSS is done and actually I have made a dumb mistake I haven't added the style for the container so let's add the container styles sorry guys so let's select container so the container width will be 90 view width we don't want it to take the full space and then margin will be zero and auto move the containers to the center now you don't see that it is at the center because the image is overflowing and that will be fixed by the Xerlax library you don't need to care about that and then we're going to make display to grid and we need some space after each of this container so grid uh, row gap will be 5 rem and we also want some padding on the top and bottom so padding will be 0 so not 0 10 rem for top and bottom and 0 for left and right and another thing that in the Xerlax overlay I have made position relative I don't know why I did that it will be absolute okay so our CSS is done so let's go to index.js and first of all we need to select all of the Xerlax elements so const Xerlax elements so document dot query selector all and then pass the class name Xerlax and now we need to call the Xerlax function that is available because we have added the CDN so Xerlax and we have to pass all of the Xerlax elements which is stored in the Xerlax else variable so Xerlax else and for the second parameter you can pass a config object but that is totally optional so I'm gonna leave it empty for now so let's see if it works or not and you can see all of the stars are now fixed so let's scroll and you can see we have this beautiful parallax effect see that is looking very beautiful and uh, now we are going to make our website a little bit responsive so let's go to style.css and at the bottom I will add a breakpoint so media screen and main width will be 600 pixels so if the screen size at minimum 600 pixels I want to set the Xerlax max height to 70 rem so Xerlax max height will be 70 rem and also let's increase the browser width okay now it is more than 600 pixels and now let's select the container and change the grid row gap to 8 rem and now select the text and let's change font size to 5 rem okay so that's it for the 600 pixel breakpoint we'll add another breakpoint this will be the last one so media screen and min width oops will be 1200 pixels I'm going to copy everything from here and I'll delete the max height I'm gonna set width to 90% grid row gap will be 15 rem and also the width of the container will 95 view width and the text font size will be 7 rem so 
As you can see that our web page is looking pretty good on full screen. Okay, so it is looking good. But another thing you can see that on the demo page, all of the odd number container like one, three and five are aligned to the right side horizontally and all the even number containers are aligned left horizontally. We haven't done it yet. So let's do that. To align the container, I'm going to use JavaScript. Now you might ask, why don't I use nchild on the container? Well, I've tried that. I don't really know why it didn't work. So I'm going to do that in JavaScript anyway. So we need to loop over the Zeralax elements. So Zeralax elements dot for each. And we need to get the element and the index. So first we need to check if the index is odd or not. So we're going to check by using the modulus operator. So index modulus two. And if that gives us a truthy value, truthy value will be a number other than zero. Zero is a falsy value and other numbers are truthy value. So if index modulus two is equals to zero, then we're going to return false because that means it's an even number. Else we want to add style to the element. So element dot style dot justify self will be equals to end. Okay, so that will do the work. So as you can see that the odd containers are aligned to the right hand side. So it's really working. So our website is completely responsive so that's it for today's video. If the video has been helpful for you, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. If you want to get more daily tips and tricks about full stack web development, then you can follow me on social medias like LinkedIn, Twitter or Instagram as Daronjon. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.